You might also consider in other types of, of dementia, for example, in vascular dementia, that the important approach is to make sure that uh, the things that could contribute to having more vascular problems in your brain, such as high blood pressure, cholesterol, uh, high glucose, all those things are looked, at, uh, looked by the, the GP to make sure that you not have more uh, possibility of having vascular changes that are going to affect your memory. So it's to prevent kind of thing. So uh, there are also other symptoms associated with some dementias, uh, and I referred earlier on to uh, depression, for example, and that could be treated as well uh, with antidepressants, for example, apart from other therapies. Uh, there are specific uh, dementias such as um, Lewy body or dementia Parkinson's disease, where even though they might experience symptoms such as visual hallucinations uh, and delusions, the use of antipsychotics is very, you have to be very careful because they're very sensitive to those kind of medication. So uh, depending on what kind of dementia you will target uh, your treatment. Uh, but I think it's true to say that we are very limited in the efficacy of some of the treatments that we have. And indeed, if you're going to try to use uh, what we call psychotropic medication or psychiatric medication, you have to target the symptom. Okay? So if you have hallucinations or delusions, it might be appropriate to use an antipsychotic, but not for other things. So people uh, walking around or trying to prevent them from, from walking around, that's not uh, uh, an appropriate use of medication because what you're doing is probably using the side effects of medication to sedate. And that's the things that we should be uh, very aware that we should not use medication for.